Hi, and welcome to Minute Mix Tips. Today I want to talk about gain structure in your mix and how it affects the plugins you're using. Early on, I remember getting very hot digital recordings, hotter than anything we'd ever seen in the analog world, and it taxed everything, the front end of the console and many of the outboard gear um, devices I would use. And then uh, starting to get into the Pro Tools world uh, on its own, the, the DAW, uh, I would notice some of the early plugins would also have trouble with excessive signal. Things like the McDSP EQs and Compressor Bank and the URS plugins by Bobby Nathan out in New York. And as the manufacturers started introducing uh, modeled plugins, and I want to point to this SSL. Uh, emulation by Waves is one of the earliest ones, I began to notice it could really handle the levels nicely. But what you always want to maintain when you're uh, processing signal is headroom, right? Headroom's the name of the game. So I want to just play this. There's a lot going on here processing-wise on the drums so much. Uh, but, but let's listen to the snare sounds. Now you'll, the, the sound doesn't match the meters because of the delay compensation and the, and the amount of processing I'm doing, but this, this, you can run this SSL thing really hot. And it sounds like what an SSL sounds like when you push it. It's a tremendous uh, advantage. As long as the signal coming in isn't clipping it, you can clip it internally and it does very well. Uh, whenever you run into a situation where processors are having trouble with the input signal that is being fed, it's pretty simple in most DAWs now to trim the clip gain or trim the gain of the, any individual track so that the, the signal coming into the input stage, the head, of, the head end of the channel strip or equalizer or compressor it's not going to clip the front end of it. But these are pretty hardy devices now, uh, and I don't find too much trouble. But keep your headroom. The sound will be uh, more pristine uh, when you do, and it'll also give you more detail no matter how you drive it after the input stage. Thanks. Happy mixing. See you next time.